Uh, hello, Rob Ainsco here again. Uh, I thought I'd do uh, another video on uh, taking a quick look at the recently released prepared 3D version 4.3. Um, they've not done a lot of changes, but they've just uh, fine-tuned a lot of things and fixed a lot of bugs. Um, and this particular uh, uh, video, I'm just going to take a look at uh, the dyna dynamic lighting and how it's performing. Um, the airport we have here is Flight Beams Kden in Colorado, Denver. And I use this airport because it has a lot of dynamic lighting. Um, so it should stress the dynamic lighting system. And um, anyway, enough of my uh, talking here. Uh, at the end of this video, uh, I, I show my graphic settings. Uh, I might uh, tune, tune back in and I'll talk about those graphic settings. But uh, for now, I'll just uh, let the video uh, run and you can take a look at the performance um, and uh, how well it's working with dynamic lights even when flying uh, under uh, dynamic lights as I later on I text I'll taxi through the terminal um, I have the usual host of add-ons here I've got um, uh, you know, Orbex um, I'm using EMV shade with their updates and uh, currently running uh, hi fis AS4 with their update for version 4.3 the aircraft I'm using here is the Milviz uh, T-38 trainer and um, I've got my usual set of add-ons uh, most of them have been updated already so with that said uh, go ahead and uh, uh, check out the video I'll tune back in later on
Okay, so uh, here are my graphic settings. Um, they're uh, fairly high. I haven't maxed out everything. Um, I'm running 4K. Uh, I have the only thing I haven't uh, maxed out here is the Autogen uh, building density. That's set to very dense, but everything else is on its highest setting. Uh, I haven't turned any reflections on. Um, as you can see, the dynamic lighting is checked here. Um, my shadows I've got turned off because it's I'm doing a nighttime thing, so there's really not a heck of a much of a point putting the shadows on and this is my clouds and draw distance and all that good stuff um, and my traffic settings